Hello, everybody. Please let me know how you can hear me because, again, I'm not sure exactly which of the microphone I put there. And I want to know if I need to get the headphones on or not. Because, unfortunately, both my web cameras have the same name. And the <laughs> computer changes them. Sometimes one of them is two, the other one is one. Sometimes one of them is two, the other one is three. So, okay, so I am sorry, but the weather this time messed up today. We weren't supposed to have any kind of bad weather at all. And of course, come nine o'clock, not even nine, it was like 8.30, because it was right when I was starting to get ready to go grocery shopping. I hear a boom outside. Hi, and uh, sure enough, there was a storm, so I wasn't, we were with a lot of lightning, I had to turn the computer off. Hi, Fran, hi, Elaine. Um, I am good. I had enough time after coming back from grocery shopping to take my pill and sit down a little bit and my pill kicked in, so I'm good. Now, uh, Last time, and I'm sorry, I tried to squeeze in to finish this thing last week, but it was impossible. Uh, I just took one like 20 minutes ago, so I'm good. Um, and last time we were interrupted because Google Cloud servers went down and the whole YouTube went down and Gmail went down and everything went down and I saw that my the chat showed that it was disconnected that i what is going on here but oh well so i'm not going to use this anymore because i left it as it was in the hopes that i'll be able to uh finish it and i wasn't so by now the powder has settled in too much to be pulled off so i'm going to simply cut it in half and yes, we'll make a lot more seeds and pods and stuff today. Uh, I'm going to cut it in half. Turn it inside out. Pretty much. Oops. Uh, right now, I'm simply using Google Hangout, but when I'm using the stream software, because uh, what happens, uh, Google Hand Hangout doesn't allow you to switch cameras once you've started the live or to show um, the screenshots and display and all that. And it's much harder to uh, do the camera settings and everything. So when I uh, when I use streaming software, I use either OBS or Streamlabs. One of the two, and they do they work just fine. Hi Laos, hi Nunia, hi everybody that I didn't see yet. Remember, I have some issues seeing the monitor, and it's funny when I. Uh, when I'm outside and it's sunny, and I asked the doctor why does that happen, and she told me that it's because the sun reflects in the little filaments that uh, make the make up the cataract. Because I see with my right eye, like somebody, if I'm in the sun, that is, like or in the brightness, like somebody has thrown in front of my face a fistful of glitter. <laughs> it's interesting. The first time it happened, I was like, what's going on? Are some itty bitty fairies going around and I wasn't aware of it? So, oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. And many happy returns. Yes. Isn't it funny when we are younger, we can't wait, oh, I can't wait to get my birthday to celebrate it. I'm going to get older. And then when you're older, it's like, oh, my God, it's already my birthday. Uh, 
So I'm gonna cut this one like this because it's easier. So yeah, usually when you have too thin of a thing and it's hard to cut it like this, you put it on the edge of the table and that way it's uh, let me, uh, like this. because that way you can kind of hold your blade at a certain distance and then you can go ahead and do cut a See, it goes fairly nice and even. So, now the same as I did last time, this is where we were interrupted. I'm going to co cover this avocado seed. <laughs> of course, it's not an avocado seed. With some avocado flesh, which of course it's not, but... I think it's funny. They really look. So I was looking at the monitor, and that's when I was like, "Hey, I'm making guacamole." It's not guacamole. And yeah, if you want again to know how to do this, it's uh, wasabi primo wasabi and uh, olive green. If that, in case you want to do tiny little avocados. Actually, we should make a couple let's make a couple just a little just a little diversion let's make a little a pair of little avocado earrings real quick really 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 quick i'm gonna put this back together like this this is the remnant from the cane and i'm simply narrowing it no i cannot uh, uh, use super chat you can only use super chat if you monetize your channel and i promised when i started that i'll never monetize my channel so i cannot use super chat i have a donation button both on the website and on the blog if you want to um help me in any way Okay, so I did this, and I shouldn't have done it this way. Oh, well, because we need to do it this way. We need to go like this, and we're going to because I need to make it into a pretty much a centered plug hi carol so yeah this is how i work if you were wondering i would work on something and then i'm like hey what if i would do that and then i do that so yeah but i thought it's funny it would be Fun to make real quick a pair of avocado earrings. So you see, I got it in length, and I'm putting the wasabi pretty much in the middle. Okay. And now I'm going to cut it in two. And then I'm going to get a little bit more. A Sunday is nice now. And by the way, the weather is so beautiful now. You didn't believe that it was so stormy just a couple hours ago. Oh, it can be always shaped and reshaped. I showed a few times. Um, and actually, if you want watching a lot of my videos, I show you how to, for example, when you cover the, uh, whatchamacallit, the baking blank for the um, necklaces, how you just take the sheet and then you gently, gently reshape it to um, the shape of the 
baking blank. Okay, so I got this. And it's a nice round thing. And I'm going to gently pinch it on one end. Actually, it needs to be a little bit more ovoid. Did you know that avocado actually they are called testicles? <laughs> That's the the actual name for them. Okay, so now we got the avocado shape. Right? I'm going to get the thinnest blade. No, I did not. That was awesome. I was worried because it had started flickering and that's why I turned off the, the big computer. But uh, I did not. We had quite a bit of power outages while the storm was going on. We had like over 12,000 people. And then after the storm had passed, there were still like 9,000 people. Okay, now I'm going to try and cut it right in the middle. Yay, I did it. And shape it, but if you need to reshape it, always place it down with the cut face down so you don't... Uh, mess up that cut face because it might get a little bit deformed when you cut it okay then the next is to make room for the i'm gonna have to make room for the this is good that should be good but before making room for the seed let's get this and cover this up so obviously you see that this is a little bit too small and not only that but I don't want to cover all this pretty wasabi-ish color. So. I'm going to gently flatten it, but uh, not just flatten it. I'm going to do a, just a little bit of uh, deformation on one end because I still want some of that nice wasabi -ish color around the seed obviously and let's do this other one too can you see do you need me to try uh, and zoom in hi from Melbourne Christine I usually get people from Australia and even New Zealand. Yeah, they are very good for your health, Susan. I wish I could afford. I used to eat them a lot, but as my health got health got worse and worse and I'm not always able to drive myself. I have to and also avocados are kind of expensive in Oklahoma. I still can find them fairly cheap at all these. But uh, when I can drive myself or when I have friends who drive me, then uh, I get quite a bit. Okay. So I'm going to first... No, first I want to do the little hole, and this is too big. This is too big. This is too small. This is good. Okay. So I'm going first to make some indentation here. going to place this could be thinner you know it's a little bit too thick so let's place it 
And the worry here, be very careful when you do something like this, because if you're going to put it like this and then press, chances are you're going to trap some air. Lift a little bit on one side. Don't press on both sides to start with. And start first, make the hole, because if you do like this, the air will come out through here. And then go for it. Okay, this will be one. So let me thin out this one too. And let's do the second one. So first a little hole. Kind of want to get yourself engaged the, where you're going to have it. Then place this. Again, don't place it to start with and then make sure it's all over the place and then we're gonna cut it out okay I need to tell you that I'm working fairly blind here. I hope I'm doing a good job. Yay. Yeah, let's trim this one too. So <clears throat> now I need to get this nicely. Flattened. It's just quick and easy stuff. You probably can make it. I mean, you definitely can make it differently. But just because there was some leftover from the from this. One half and the other half. And at this point, you have two choices. You can uh, either try and use some uh, uh, powder on this, but I think that it's less, um, you might have the chances that you can still see this. There's, a, there's an acrylic color that's called dark green, black, black, green. I'll grab it in a second. And I'll show you. We're gonna do this in a pop this in the oven real quick so we can work on it as well. And let's make the seed. Hi, Cecile. Oh, 
or what? An older computer. Okay, what's go happening, Lena? Uh, uh, video freezing might be also from your uh, internet speed. So make sure you don't have a, an internet speed issue. Is this, this is bigger. Uh, you always can do the speed test. Just search on Google speed test and choose any of those websites that will. Get you where you need to go. All righty, and this we can bake. This one needs to be a little bit fatter. But yeah, we got two avocados. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to bake it right now. I'm going to wait until I make the bead. Okay. What's the one what in tears? Oh, yeah, and also make sure that you have the, your browser updated because sometimes the, they got so bad. Uh, I noticed, for example, Firefox would have, would choose the worst time possible to tell me, oh, you need to update your browser. Hey, there is a new version of Firefox. You need to update. So I'm like, dude, I want to finish first watching my movie. I don't want to update Firefox since and they make it impossible to watch until you go ahead and update your browser it's gonna freeze it's gonna do all kinds of crap so hi janice hi robbie okay so i'm gonna make this one a little bit more avoid And then cover it up with this. And make sure you go with the, because remember last time I almost put it like this and you don't want that. And I'm actually going to do a few more um texturizing things than i did last time okay see i almost did it again it's okay if they overlap shrimp boats <laughs> what's up with the shrimp boats Okay, and then I'm going to bring it back to round and get it all nice and rounded until I have no more. You don't want any kind of folding lines here, so just keep almost there. That's good. Okay, so now I'm going to poke some holes first. Oh, the other one is here. No, no, first I need to put it on the baking thing. Bonjour, Anissi.
Oh, her name is Cherry Shrimp. Okay. I did not know that. I had no idea. Okay, now I'm gonna give it some pokies. Okay. You just go random. You don't want any kind of repeatable pattern, but you want different sizes of the pokies. And you want quite a bit of pokies. And if you want to make big beads, I always advise to use uh, Sculpey Ultralight for uh, the core of the beads because it makes the beads way much lighter. And by the way, per volume, not per weight, per volume, Sculpey Ultralight is about two thirds of the price of the regular clay. So, it's really worth it to buy some to have to fill in big pieces with it. A lot of times I would even do the puffy stuff and then fill it with ultralight for more sturdiness. You know. Hi, Sabi. Oh, you'll be making the lace cane. I love those lace canes and they are so versatile. You can do so many things with them. Oops. Yeah, I'll show you a variant today of the lace cane i don't know if it can be actually called a variant of the lace cane but it's a cane that really really gives a lot of organic -y look to anything okay so i did this then i'm going to grab a needle pretty much more up this is good and i'm going to start giving it a lot of lines so first towards the end then in the middle and then on the other end No, I don't, Cherry. Thank you. I should be okay. And then I'm going to give it even a pinch more of texture. Watch this. Always use, I always use this. It's much stiffer than a toothbrush. And this part is the stiffest. It's much, it's stiffer than this part. So. I'm going to do this on it. So not like this, but I'm actually kind of pulling. And on the other way again. And then I'm going to use you can use, remember that if you use uh, chalk pastels, you're going to have to seal. 
but if you use the pan pastels or the artisan powders you won't and so i need the black brown and this is light and then the amber So I'm going to first use some light colored, more or less light colored. And you want for this uh, a paintbrush that would be soft enough to allow you to go in all those. I know. Seamus was very scared, did because of the storms. Yeah, it's a problem with him. He can get so terrified that he pees himself. So I really need to keep an eye on him so I can scoop him, him up and get him in the kitchen where it's tile. You know. And then I'm going to use a little bit darker brown on this side. And you'll say now, why did we even bother to do all that? Gradient Skinner Blend thingy. If we covered it up, because we did not cover it. And by the way, it looks like a chocolate truffle, doesn't it? Because we are not leaving it like this. We are going to remove that and leave only the stuff in the recesses and you can use this type of tape but I found that it's a lot more work even if it sounds like oh I'm going to save money if I use that no you don't because you use more sorry for the noise packing tape works way better lifts much faster and you use much less of it than with the crappy tea. I need this to be clean. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. Oh, he might uh, be scared, you know. I had a rabbit one time who was playing the tambourine. She was so cute. She was an Angora rabbit and she would thump on the tambourine and even jump in place with her back legs and she was adorable and she was blue-eyed Really, really pretty. Now, remember the um, artisan powders blend uh, bond with the clay 
when you bake it and they are good to put on resin on paper on you name it that's how they are made to bond with pra practically anything they're very hard to remove actually as you can see if i had mica powder here it would have been gone in a, just a few swipes of the tape but these ones no they'll they'll hang on for dear life oh my god hey the uniform yeah one of my dogs one time ate a first edition Jules Verne book it was about 17 grand. Yeah, that was not a happy day. It was my fault. I didn't beat her too much or anything because it was my fault. I shouldn't have left that book on a lower shelf in the bookshelf because it's all old books. It was glued with bone glue. Remember, in the old times, they were making the glue with bones. So, she chomped it. Yeah. It was La Chasse du Meteor, and it actually was the 17th printed book, you know how with books the depending on the edition but uh, they would have the first 10 or the first 20 or the first 100 they would have the actual number on the inside cover and those books are more valuable but yeah i still do have a few valuable books and an old a few old uh, parchment thingies there's one from the Ottoman Empire I'm giving one of my ancestors some land and stuff was Romania at one point it was never part of the Ottoman Empire but it was a vassal the princip principalities of Wallachia, Moldavia, and Transylvania. Transylvania was more under the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Okay, let's call it a day for this, and I'm going to just wipe with a little bit of alcohol to remove more of this. And if just the And no, you cannot do this to start with. Because you'll mess up your clay and it might crack when you bake it. a potato <laughs> no it doesn't it looks like a seed i'll get it close in a close-up so you can see it looks more like a tuna by the way small bit of trivia if you ever go to mexico and you want to eat tuna fish never ask for tuna because what you're going to get is that cactus fruit that looks almost like a pear 
tuna, the fish in Mexico is atun. So, yeah. Been there, done that. <laughs> They're like, where the heck did they bring me here? All righty. And now for even better look. Let me just get my hands a little bit better. Uh, you can do this. So I did it with the wasabi and the, um, the olive green. But you can do it with um, mix and get uh, orange and the alizarin crimson. And then make a mix, but also add one little strip of uh, raw sienna, but just a thin, thin strip to make it a little bit more uh, natural. And then you can do this on it. And it's going to look also like a seed. Let me try and refocus here. Okay. Very organic-y. It looks more like a walnut eaten by moths, if you ask me. Pretty much. Okay, let me get these two in the oven so we can move forward and we'll move to the next technique. Yes, I said I was going to show you the acrylic color for avocado skin. This is it. It's black green. green. It's in the Americana. And then you add a little bit of wasabi thing and you just do like this dry rub on it. And let it dry for just a minute and then do this and then you'll get the proper thing. Okay. No. Yeah. It, it and and I said you you can do various colors. And they will all look organic if you use the proper color combinations. They will all look pretty. Okay. As I said I'm working on all kinds of things here, so Okay, now let's move to the next one. For the next one, I'm going to make something that looks a little bit like a pod. And I'm actually going to use a mold. just to make things go faster, right? Okay. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. This is from Best Flexible Molds, and that's almonds and cabs. Mm. 
Goa is good. I'm sorry, I'm done with the holes. So you can keep watching, Lena. I'm done with it. Okay, no. Let's grab a little thing to work it on. And on this one, I'm not going to make holes. I'm going to make indentations. Okay. So. For this one, you need something like a paintbrush, handle, and something like this would work the best. And start on opposite direction. So you'll need a mold of round. And you can use this. You can use the uh, a Sculpey has a round mold. I'm sorry. Did you figure out why the? So you go on the opposite side and now go on it like a cross. And then do the in-betweens. So at this point, we have this. We are going to go in and do a little bit more. Define this. And if need be, you can actually do one more. Because we want these to be like little crests. and start bringing them up. And I'm not going to use holes on these. <laughs> so Lina can do something too. Of course, you can use holes on them to make it look even better. But you just keep doing this, but don't let it get too pointy. Just keep pressing on these to get them flattened towards the center. Okay, now we can start shaping it a little bit. And once again, it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical or anything. Yeah, generally speaking on phobias, once you figure out why it is triggered and you start working on that, uh, it gets better.
Okay, so now I formed my little indentations. Now we are going to make it, take it up another notch. I need the next one. You need a relatively small, smallish uh, texture. And just on several of the spots, oops, drop the whole thing. <laughs> okay, let me make sure that it gets stuck on the acrylic. Okay, on several of the spots, work a little bit with the We are good. Let me re refocus with my mouse. And on this one, we can play with various colors. I hope this is not, you don't perceive this as holes. Okay. Now let's play with some pan pastels and I'm going to use some yellow first, if I can ever open it. Because I opened the wrong one. This is not yellow actually, it's ochre. I need the ochre, not the yellow. And I still keep the yellow out. Paintbrush, I lost my paintbrush. And my paintbrush. It's not really, it's a cosmetics brush. This should work, but it's not white enough. And this is better. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow here. And then I'm going to continue with ochre. And yes, you can do all this with the acrylic paints. I'm just doing this with the pan pastels because we don't have to wait for them to uh, dry out. Well, I know what non pare means in French, but I don't know what it means in English. Oh yeah, I got some sea urchins to show you how to make molds. Didn't get around it yet, so. but I bought them. And you can find them on uh, eBay. Fairly cheap. Really? Oh my goodness. Shame has got something more to talk about. Really? Goodness gracious, and then what happened? We don't need black. Oh my goodness. That means mama. When he says ma wu, that means mama. And there we go, that's what I was looking for. This, oh, there we go.
So we go for a more cinnamon -ish. You can go with shades of green. I just didn't want to make another green because I just made one. You know, so. And then once we are done with all of that, Yeah, you know, sometimes you cannot get over certain things. This whole thing with get over it is not a good, not a good advice. Okay, let's get close. So we go like this, and I'm going to actually do this in close up. Yeah, not so close, because I need room to maneuver. Okay, this should be good. And then we just do some touches here and there. And blow it. Clean the, the brush really good. And if you want to give it an extra effect, I can see this is how it will look in the end. As I said, I'm not going to do holes in it. Uh, you can make it a little bit reddish. And you can actually mix red and green for uh, an absolutely amazing effect. Even if it sounds weird to say, how are you going to put red and green and make it look good? Well, because in nature, red and green look good. In a lot of other things, they don't. And yes, for this, you kind of need to build layers because you want that red to look a little bit different from thing to thing. And if I'm not mistaken, I should have a green in this tower. If not, I'll, I know I have in another tower. I, I'm so bad about putting this back together. Okay. One. No. Yes, that's a green, but that's not the kind of green I want. Let me grab the other tower in just a second. It's a guessing game. I really need to find a way to recognize these. And I got the wrong tower.
And it's like you never know which of these you're opening. Sorry, I'm keeping you waiting. You know what? I'm gonna just get the sage of the of the artisan powders. Because these are such a pain to work with in on live. I just have too much trouble opening and closing them. Come on, get in there. Oh god. <sighs> In just a second, I'll find that green in a second here. And there we go. And I got the green. And you'll see what the beautiful effect it does. Pan pastels are a type of uh, chalk pastels, chalk pastels like uh, colors that come, uh, they are very compacted, almost like a compact powder. And they are very, the color is very, very rich and very, very concentrated. And they work great. Uh, I said before that whenever you get Chalk pastels, make sure and you always get the soft, not the hard. Because the hard with the hard, you'll have a lot of problems trying to color your uh, clay with and the shavings of it. With the pan pastels, you don't need to do any kind of shavings. And they are a soft pastel powder. And uh, the good part is that not many of the other chalk pastels powder pastels bond with the clay most of the time you need to seal them but that's not the case for the pan pastels they bond fairly nicely yeah you can use them you're happy if you have a lot of boxes of them Yeah, the towers are very good in terms of uh, saving space, but they are a pain to me to work with because I have all my, all those hands issues. So again, you do a lot of blending once you're done. So, so I put the red on top of, the, of each of these and then the green in between. And then you need to do some blending, some nice blending. And you're getting something that you cannot tell if it is a seed, if it is some kind of marine animal or something, but it looks super organic. -y. Oh, yes, it did. It sure did. Okay, now let's move to, I said I was going to show you something that's kind of like a variant of the lace bubble, but not really. But it does great effects on uh, organic uh, stuff. And you can place it... Yeah, it does look a little bit like a sea urchin, but not too much. Um, so what you need for it is some translucent clay, obviously. But if we are talking lace, okay. I'm going to get some translucent clay, and then I'm going to just use some leftovers i have a ton of leftovers here so i'm just going to use them so here's some of that green stuff what else do i have oh yeah this is the fishy that we made 
and that I made, I broke this off when the when was a sponsor's live. Uh, this is a reddish. I think it's got some bronze in it too, but this should do the trick. This should do the trick nicely. Then I have a leftover green thingy here. I'm just going to put it here. And I have a leftover. So this you make with leftovers of whatever. So now what you need to do is to get all your leftovers on thin on the pasta machine. Make a few sheets fairly thin not super thin but like a medium thin Practically something in between the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the lace and the stropel, if you want. Way too soft, you leach it. You flatten it into a sheet or something and put it between uh, sheets of paper with something heavy on top. And depends on how much you need to reach it. Sometimes an hour is enough. Sometimes you need to do it for longer. You can even leach clay to the point of doing crackling techniques. You just put, uh, you leach the clay for several days and you put, make it on a thin sheet. And then you put it on top of a regular condition sheet of clay and then you get it together through the pasta machine and you get crackling. Okay, now what we are going to do is I'm going to first cut these in two. Three of them, cut them in two. And I'm going to place some of these strings on here. You don't have to be perfect, okay? You don't have to place them in a, oh, you have to have so many per inch. No, go fairly irregular. And I need to make a little bit more of the string. Hi, Karin. Uh, bonjour. Oh, did you get Chinese clay? Yeah, you can throw that away. That's worse than Sculpey 3. Sorry. That's for children. It's modeling, more like modeling clay. A 
150 colors okay let me try and search it on amazon see what exactly you're talking about because if you're talking about one of the souffle sets that's different let's see 50 colors yeah chinese clay i'm sorry yeah that's not something you want to work with yes copy three is bad enough but it's good for you if you just start it's good to oh my god i'm sorry donna i'm sorry but yeah susan you can still do some learning with it you know even if don't wear or give as presents anything that you make with it because they are going to break if you ever manage to make something oh we did a was it last year for thanksgiving that we did or for halloween that we tried some type of what was the name a moto clay that we did the uh, all kinds of stuff like little lobsters and pumpkins and was that kind of crappy clay but yeah they get a lot of people with that clay okay so now i i got on three of these some stuff and i'm going to cover it with the other just making sure that i have i might actually have to put some more here yeah i need one more because you want in between each of the sheets strings of translucent And you'll say, oh, that's so simple. What is that going to do? That doesn't sound like anything interesting. Well, actually, I need even more. I didn't calculate well. Uh, you'll see here in a second what we are going to do with this and how it's going to look. And I might have to post the baked thing on Facebook or show it to you in the next live but uh, it is all translucent once it's baked and it looks like the cells in a when you look in a microscope at the plant cells in a stalk let's say that's pretty much how it looks like but try to get them fairly randomly set so i got this and now i'm going to flatten the crap of it crap out of it and cut and stack It needs even more flattening. And now let's make a bead. 
and I'm going to actually use some colored clay. This time it's not gonna be mud clay, but some leftover colored clay. Let me use this one. I have some colored clay here. Remember what I said whenever you're saving your um, um, scrap clay? Yeah, I'll show it on the next slide. Uh, when you do your scrap clay, try to separate it in colors and then you can mix those and get all kinds of various pretty colors. Okay, so I have this and I'm going to... Mm, is that good enough? Uh, as a matter of fact, I said I was going to show you a close-up. Now, can you imagine how this is going to look when it's going to be baked? Because all these will be translucent. Remember that all those little strips, all those little strings. Hi, Gaylene. So, I'm going to get it on a more ovoidal shape and remember if you place the bead in the crease of your palm and you do this you're gonna get a more or less ovoidal sometimes torpedo like bead so you decide if you want it even thinner than this i'm not going to bother with it thinner than this i'm going to simply cut some Slices and cover my bead. And as I said, when it's like this, you don't really realize how organic -y it looks. But once you bake it and you pretty much, you know, buff it and or varnish it or whatever. It's going to look super duper organic. -y. I might need another slice. Yes, I do. Not a fully full slice, but just a bit of a slice. And then we are going to nicely put it together. Because remember, in organic, you don't have to make stuff look perfectly perfect. And we can use this and then press it back so it wouldn't get too and at this point of course you can do that deformation using a toothpick but what I like to do is to just let it see how it kind of arranges itself like this when you do and you don't have to have it perfectly round either you just do a little bit of this so you don't get the fingerprints and you can either poke it like this and have it hanging and as I said you'll see how it is let me try and get again focusing And see all the areas where the translucent strings are will be translucent. -y. You'll get all these cell-like formations in there. 
And if you want it to look even more like cells, you can wrap the translucent in green or in olive or in something. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah, uh, some things are perfect, though. Non-glitter eyeshadow works great, but uh, not all of it bonds with the clay. Some cosmetics bond with the clay beautifully, I know, because when I was sculpting uh, art dolls, I used quite a bit uh you know, blush and eyeshadow and all that. And once the uh, the doll was baked, it wouldn't get off that clay for anything. So all you need to do is to test, you know, just get little pieces of clay and just put the eyeshadow on it. Remember I had a, a tutorial. Give me just a second. On how to do a very fancy, trendy pendant without any kind of tools. And in that one, I used eyeshadow, actually, shimmering eyeshadow. And there you go. Let me get you the link to it. Okay, let me go check on the other. Oh. Okay, it is still on. Now, at this point, I'm going to bake these. And then uh, I might hop in, depends on how it is. Remember, the Thursday I have the surgery, so I don't know how I'm going to be after that. I, I can definitely still pop on, even if I don't see what to do, just to show you stuff. I might actually do the de-stashes if I manage to put... No, when I say medium scene, okay, imagine this. So I have the makings, let's say that goes from one to nine, okay? Uh, and then you'd have the the one that would be smack dab in the middle would be the five. That would be the medium. When I say medium thing, you'd have the mediums would be like four, five, six. Six and seven would be a medium thin. Eight and nine are thin. And coming this way, three and four are a medium thick. One and two are thick. Does that make sense? Yeah, because it all depends on what settings you have on your pasta machine. So I don't know if you have a pasta machine that goes, goes from one to seven, Five, yeah, might be a medium thin. But on a makings or on a or an atlas, no. So that is uh but yeah, that pendant I put the link on. I didn't use any polymer clay tool at all all whatsoever i even used the pencil to texturize and uh, if i remember correctly it was a uh, glass that i used to cut the the thing and eyeshadow and the uh, end of a cosmetic brush too or the eyeshadow applicator to poke holes, but it that one is completely without tools whatsoever. 
So, as I said, I'll do this. And then I was thinking, it's up to you. I'm going to put a poll on the community. If you want to start putting stuff together or if you want to do more organic -y things. Because, uh, to be honest, I had planned for more stuff today, but because it weather messed me up, because I would otherwise I would have had between grocery shopping and the live, I'd have had almost two hours to rest, but like this I did not. So I've been already tired from driving myself and shopping without any pain medication and then getting straight into the live. Um, I, that's why I had more to, to show you today, but I just feel that I cannot. Uh, so I'm going to put a poll if you want for next time to start putting things together or if you want to see more things because what I had planned today was uh, more of those bead within beads, you know, the like we did... Um, no, no, I actually, I don't remember if we did. When you have a pod and then you have multiple beads inside the pod. And then uh, I wanted to show you insect-like beads, you know, like when you have the beads made, like they look like they are made out of scarab wings, for example. Um, so I'll put a poll on the community tab and you can... Uh, answer there and choose if you want to start putting some stuff together or if you want to do more uh, organic beads until we put stuff together. So um, hopefully I'll be able to do stuff next Sunday and as I said if I won't be able to do stuff at least I'll be able to show you stuff and we give you some tips and you know, uh, we'll still have a live, I promise. So, okay, thank you, Elaine. Thank you so much, and hopefully soon I'll be seeing way so much better, yay. Thank you, have a wonderful Sunday, and thank you for being here with me for the live and for all the help and moral support you're giving me. I love you all. Goodbye.